Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we'll make custom foam drawer inserts. This is high density aerospace grade foam and you can tell right away that it's incredibly consistent. What the laser does is it, it produces a really nice finish on it so it doesn't look like a hack job you did with a knife or a blade, which is what a lot of people use to make these drawer inserts. In this case here we got a project uh, for a concert hall and they carry a lot of uh, musical instruments and all that kind of stuff all over the place. So sometimes they go on tour, sometimes they go to another concert hall, sometimes they got to move stuff from one floor to the next, and uh, they have all these, these drawers. And the problem that they've been having is they've been actually using uh, just regular foam and they've been cutting out with a knife. The issue with that is it gets really messy and it doesn't really produce a really nice result. It's not nice and sharp compared to what we can do with our laser, as you can see here. So they contacted me and said, you know, let's make something professional now that our music musicians are going to go wow, but also more importantly, protects the tools far better because all of the shapes are exactly the size and the dimensions and of course the shape of what will be going inside of it. So it protects it better. And the contrast in color, in this case the customer wanted red, is a wonderful way to notice right away if something is missing. We have a whole bunch of different colors available in this material here. We can also go custom colors if you have enough volume. Uh, when you look at this, you can see the red and the black. But you might be wondering, well, why don't you just make everything black? And here's an example of that. And you can still sort of see it. It looks pretty nice, but there's nowhere near the same amount of contrast. Uh, let's use a piece of scrap blue that I have here. And you can see again, different color, totally different results. So that means for uh, corporate use or that kind of stuff, um, we could have drawers that match your corporate colors or if you're a band, you have two or three colors that you use to promote your band, you can actually have all your drawer inserts that color. If you're a manufacturing business and you need these drawer inserts out of foam uh, for tooling, um, you can have each division have their own color. So that means, you know, maybe, I don't know, uh, the part assembly area has red on blue and then you have the uh, another division that does, I don't know, composites, where they have green and yellow. Um, it never really ends when it comes to the color combinations, but there are definitely minimum uh, quantities required because we have to buy this stuff basically by the skid.
Now you might say to me, hey, we can use other kind of stuff like polystyrene and other kind of uh, foam based products. And you're totally right. Uh, when we first started promoting that we can do this kind of work to companies, um, I actually went to Home Depot, bought some polystyrene and cut that out. Um, that's just as flammable as this stuff here. And the issue that we started to have is that polystyrene is actually a really nice foam. The problem is all the little bubbles that make it up uh, come off absolutely everywhere. So we would laser cut them out and then the, and then the customer would take tooling in and out, in and out, and eventually they would just wear out all these little bubbles everywhere um, in, the, in the drawer all over the shop. So that was, a, that was an idea that I had that we dropped pretty quick and then we looked for a very high end, I guess, uh, foam that wouldn't break down so easily. And again, because this is aerospace grade foam, it just is incredibly strong stuff. Um, and because the laser goes over it, it actually seals all the edges at the same time. So you know something with, it's really nice and sharp. My company has also tried a whole bunch of different kind of foams until we found a foam that actually works really good for the applications and our customers. Um, there's a quite a lot of testing that's involved. Um, you, you, you contact a foam manufacturer, basically, and they don't have offcuts most of the time, so you're going to buy a lot of material. And then you find out, you know, after the first sheet that, you know what, this material doesn't really work very well. Uh, some material later just burns right up in the laser. Uh, other material, you have to do so many passes on it or the, the edge results are not very nice or, you know, there's a lot of trial and error when it comes to doing this kind of work. So if we're looking for custom foam drawer inserts like what we produce here, uh, they could be any shape, any size, uh, any shape that you have in it. We found uh, if you have CAD, that's great. Basically what you do is you take a picture of your drawer as it is right now uh, with all the tools placed where you want them to be. Then you trace that into CAD and send us the CAD and we send you over the foam. Another way of doing that if you don't have CAD is actually just to trace it on a piece of paper. If you look at it, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is put, you know, these tools here, let's say, in this case, musical instruments. And what you do is you trace it with a pencil first, and you try to get your lines pretty straight. Um, and then you trace it again with a marker, then you scan it in. And then based on that, we could further optimize the file so that you have nice sharp edges and everything looks really nice. And then after that, we produce it and ship it to you just as easily. So custom foam drawer inserts, contact me at cncroi.com.